What's up, Brits Crackers? Welcome to base class. Um, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, so I wanted to talk about some different bass techniques today. Really focus in on some certain things that the bass does that the guitar doesn't do, and certain differences there with your right hand mostly. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit of music theory with some intervals in our left hand, some basic stuff that'll really help us out when putting our own bass lines together and stuff like that. Okay, cool. So let's start with uh, technique. So uh, the first thing we usually learn as a bass player is one finger. Just like that, plugging the string. So I want to get really into that and talk about, you know, the ins and outs of that. First, um, with your first finger, right, the first one you start with, I like to have my thumb planted somewhere. Usually I have it on an edge of a pickup like this. These are pickups, right? So I usually put my thumb like this. I like to rest it somewhere. Some people like to rest it on the string that they're next to, like that. Sometimes I do that. Um, the other thing, some basses will come with a thumb rest, which is just kind of a little, uh, I don't know, a little platform right here that you put your thumb on, like that. Some of them are up here, like a little bit closer to there. Anyway, but the point is I like to have my thumb rested somewhere so that my first finger can basically go like that against my thumb. That's kind of what I'm doing every time I pluck with my right hand, with my first finger, right? Is I'm taking a string and not necessarily making contact with my thumb, but pulling my first finger back toward my thumb like that, okay? A lot of people think when they first start playing string instruments that you're supposed to pluck like that, to pull out, right? That is something that we do on the bass sometimes. It's called slap, right? Or pop. But right now we're just talking about the basics. When we pluck, we're really not pulling the string outward. We're really pouring, pulling it toward us, kind of up toward my face is what I like to think of it, or toward my thumb. If my thumb is planted right here, then I can pull that string toward my thumb like this. And basically, I'm taking my finger and pulling it toward my thumb, but before I can get there, my finger slips off of it. And that's kind of our main um, finger technique with the right hand. So it'll sound instead of, like if you pluck a string like this, it kind of sounds like that, very quiet, obviously not much definition, kind of woof, woof, woof. But if I were to pluck, see how much more of a thump that brings me? And that's kind of what we want a lot of the time on bass, is we want kind of a thumpy sound, right? Especially for rock and roll. Um, so when we bring in our second finger, the problem here is that, I don't know if you can uh, tell on your own fingers, but my middle finger is much longer than my first finger, right? So if I were to plant my thumb like this and play the same way, uh, my middle finger would be way too far over the string. So basically what I have to do to even these out is I have to curve my middle finger a little bit more than I do my first finger. So if I curve my first finger like this, my middle finger is going to be curved even more like that. Does that make sense? Because really what I want these to be a kind of a straight line like that when they're on the string. Because the string is straight like this, so when I'm playing like that, you can see that my middle finger is curled up a little bit more than my first finger. Because when we're playing, we want these two fingers to sound the same, which is weird because they're different fingers. They're different shapes, they're different lengths. We want each of those fingers to sound just like that, right? So if I'm playing, it can just be faster because this can only go so fast, right? But if I add that second finger, then it can go way faster than my first finger alone. First finger can go only half that speed, right? If it goes really fast, Maybe I can get it like that, but then if I add a second finger, then I can really cruise. So let's try uh, with our metronome. I'm gonna get a metronome out here. I hope you've gotten the metronome that I recommended to you. Um, we're gonna try just a couple different open strings like this. I might call out a note like the fifth fret or something, but we'll just play some different techniques. Let's start out with just our first finger, okay? And let's start out with quarter notes. Sorry, quarter notes at this tempo right here. So we're going to start out just playing quarter notes on our E string with our first finger, trying to get a really even, punchy, solid tone, trying to pull the string back toward my thumb and getting that, that thud on each note like that. Okay, cool. Let's start at this tempo. Like I said, eight notes on each string. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A string. Very good, and we're just doing this right hand technique right here. Excellent, you don't really have to do anything with your left hand right now, um, but you can hold the bass. You should hold it proper like this. I was just trying to give you a close up of my right hand. So 
let's try that again. This time I want you to experiment with where you're setting your thumb, okay? You can, if you have two pickups on your bass, try it on a different pickup. If you don't have any pickups, try it on the string that you're not using. So on the E string, you would just kind of hold it against the body like this. And then for the A string, you would move to the next string like that. Maybe try that. Try whatever you want. I want you to try something different though. Try to get a little bit of a different sound because believe it or not, playing up here, sounds different than playing down here. Right? Much different. So I wanna, I'm gonna switch pickups, I'm gonna do this. But I want you to change something about where your thumb was set during that one and let's do the same thing. So we're gonna do eight beats on each string. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Hope you got a different sound out of that one, a little bit of something different because um, even though I like to have my main kind of thing, like if I'm just going to grab the bass and play something, my thumb's going to go here, my fingers are going to go about right here over that pickup, and I'm going to play about like that. But I want to be able to have these different sounds, like if I want to play up here, or if I want to play down here, I want to be able to have all those different sounds ready, okay? So let's add our second finger now, and let's play the same thing. Um, this time go back to wherever your thumb was first. We're going to really concentrate on playing, let's do 16 on each string, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then go to the next string, but I really want to concentrate on getting each finger to sound the same, to sound like ba, 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 instead of like ba, 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 all uneven and stuff, okay? So let's try to get it really even the attack and the intensity and everything. Here we go. One. And remember, doing eight twice on each string. 16 beats on each string. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Switch. Now, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. try that same exercise one more time okay a little bit of a slower actually I'm sorry a faster tempo and uh, same thing here we go like I said keeping really even and this time let's just do eight beats again per string like that a little bit faster one two one two ready go getting you warmed up too and you're getting all your you know muscles moving and everything um the next thing i want to talk about is the other way that we can or like you know there's many ways that we can play the bass we can do a lot of crazy stuff but the other main way that we're going to play the bass is with a pick or a plectrum right this is a pick i like to use just a regular old uh, pick a little bit thicker and i like the nylon kind but whatever you like is good so the pick is different right than your fingers obviously it's got a different sound different attack, different technique, everything. So with this pick, the main way that I want to hold it, uh, and really the pick changes less than my fingers. My fingers will change a lot, you know, with the shape and all of that, depending on what sound I want to go for. But the pick is really going to stay in my hand the same way the whole time. So what I like to tell people is I like to do this. Okay, so I want you to make your finger gun like this, okay, and then pull the trigger. Now, with my finger like this, I want to take my pick and put it on top of my hand like this to where the point is going to the left or out of my hand, right? Away from my hand. It's pointing away from my hand. And then I'm going to put my thumb down on top of it. And that's basically how I like to get my pick technique. So that my finger is curved in like this, and the pick goes on top of it, and my thumb goes on top of that. I'm not holding the pick like this. I'm holding it like this. And so that way, I can get really close to the strings and be really in control the whole time. Because if I'm like this, and way far away from the strings like this on my pick, that seems to me to be way harder 
than to bring it in close to your hand because my hand is where the control is coming from. If it, the further out of my fingers I go, the less control that I have, right? But if I'm in like this and keep my pick really close, it doesn't matter what these fingers do really. They could be out, they could be in. Um, but as long as I have my pick like that, that's where I like to keep it, especially if you're playing bass. Okay, so for this one, um, we're going to talk about downstrokes, upstrokes, and placement uh, on these strings anywhere in here because it sounds way different over there than it does here. Right? Okay, so picking, you got the pick in your right hand, you're all good to go. Let's try just some downstrokes, okay, on each string. Just like that. Try kind of in the middle between the fingerboard and the bridge, okay? So approximately in the middle right here. If you have two pickups, try it near the first pickup, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to do downstrokes like that on each string. Now this, the same thing. We're not going to pluck up like we did. We're going to uh, pluck up like I talked about with the fingers. Same thing as we're going to go sideways, but instead of pulling it back toward you, you're going to go down into the string and let your pick slide off of it. And it can go into the next string, that's fine. It doesn't have to, but it can, can collide with the next string like that. That's totally fine. Okay? Sounds good. But it doesn't have to. So let's try that again. Just down strokes on each string, about in the middle. Um, at our lower tempo here. Sorry, let me grab my metronome again. So let's use these as eighth notes. So let's go one, two, three, four, just like that. Here we go. One. Two, just pick down strokes. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now move to the A string. Go fifth. D string. G down. easier to get an even tone on the downstroke because there's only one uh, thing to make contact with the string, right? But there is another side of the pick, just like our fingers. When we go like this, we can only go so fast until we add that second finger. With the pick, we can only go so fast going down strokes until we add our up strokes. So that means down, up, down, up. So like on our E string, down, up, down, up. Let's try that a couple of times. Ready? Go down. Let's get that a little faster, going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the challenge here is to get your upstroke sounding just like your downstroke, which is hard, right? Just like when your fingers changed uh, to make them sound the same, you gotta do the same thing with your pick. You gotta make every stroke, either down or up, sound the same. Like that. So let's try it at this tempo now, but let's do eighth notes like that. One, two, ready. Try it a little bit faster this time. Um, because that's the beauty of picking is you can go really fast with it. Like that. It's harder to go fast like that with your straight with your fingers than it is with a pick. Because the pick is easy to go right away. Cool. So let's try this a little bit faster, like I said. Let's try this tempo and let's play eighth notes now. Like that. Here we go. One, two, ready, go.
like I said, picking versus fingers. Now, I don't think there's any wrong way to play the bass or a right way necessarily, right? Um, I think that anybody that does any way they want to play is good. Now, I would say, just as a little bonus, the uh, other most common way that people play with the right hand on the bass is called slap. Okay, now this I'm not going to give you much of it because it's kind of an advanced technique, but I do want to just show you real quick because it is fun and easy to get started on, I guess. Hard to get good at. Really hard to get good at. But, um, so, slapping is exactly what it sounds like, where you're taking your thumb and your fingers, and instead of plucking the strings, you're making them slap metal on metal, just like that. So you get that sound. Um, like a uh, common, you know, uh, slap bass is usually in like funk music and stuff like that. Oh. There's a lot of different slap techniques, but the main two basically are your your thump or your like thumb, basically going down into the string like that, and then your pop, right? Slap, a pop. I don't know. People call them different things, whatever. I'm gonna call this one a slap, and this one a pop. Okay, cool. So. With the slap, what I'm doing is I'm taking my finger, and it's hard to only hit one string, but that's the idea. Start with your E string, it's the easiest one, your lowest E string, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm hitting the string, letting my thumb kind of go through it or bounce off of it. But I'm gonna make sure that the string hits down onto the frets to get that metal on metal sound like this. So try that with me. All I'm doing with my left hand is muting the E string after it plays. So I'm going E and then stopping it. Also with my left hand, I'm hitting, uh, helping the other strings not ring. Because if I didn't have it there, then it kind of sounds like that. Of like all the other strings will start ringing too. So left hand is very important in slap technique too. So that's your basic thumb slap technique. You can try that on other strings. You can try it with other notes. The other thing that you can do is your first finger. You're gonna, this time you really are going to pull the string out, okay? And pull it away from the bass and let it slap back down into the bass, hitting that metal on metal, right? So let's try this. Let's try our thumb here and then our finger at the G string, like that. Also, I'm muting with my left hand, letting it ring for just a second and then muting it like that, okay? So let's do our thumb and let's do our first finger. Thumb. First finger, thumb, first finger. And if you can do that, it's hard, I know, to get it to sound clean. Trust me, I know. It's been a long time even getting to this point. I'm not very good at it. But we got E and G. So let's try just that. Try to make it really short. Pop. Because slap technique is really more like drumming than it is like bass playing. Anyway, those are your basic, basic slap techniques. Um, we can get more into that if that's something you're interested in. But uh, so that's kind of, you know, the three main uh, right hand techniques for bass. The main one that you're going to use most of the time is your fingers, right? Usually alternating. Um, and then you're also going to use your pick a lot. Depending on what kind of music you play, you could use your pick more than your fingers. Um, some bands I play and I use just only pick. You know, you never know. Uh, and then the other thing you could do sometimes is slap. It's a little bit of an exotic technique compared to the other two. You know, it's used a lot less. But it is a lot of fun and it sounds cool. So, yeah. Happy bass playing, everybody. See you later.